Hello everyone, welcome to our Android video create application tutorial. So, where we are going to create the uh, recipe search uh, application. So, uh, this is an API based application so that we are going to create. So, if you, want, if you are interested, so uh, just follow the tutorial. So, be sure to watch the uh, complete video so you will not get lost anywhere in our tutorial so we don't saying too much let's get back to our android studio so uh where we left off on the previous video so very sorry about that here uh because i really need to uh, uh stop the video so we are trying to uh, shorten the length of the recording because uh, of any reason so okay so what we we'll do now this uh, video we are going to clear the text view that we have in our uh, layout xml so we have defined the text view so now is the time to initialize it into this class cookie holder so we can declare a uh, text view so text view and then uh, we can okay so how many text view we have so we have text label text so, uh, we have uh, we have five text view so but including label six so take it clear uh, text view will be first will be uh, label so label the next will be the so what is that the next will be the source so source the next will be the field the next will be the calories so we need to uh, add it here so the last one will be the weight so we just clear it and initialize it uh, but we need also to have the image view so image view image view and for the image we need to add a dependency into our build cradle so we are going to use the glide uh, dependency okay library get hung okay you can just include it uh, so image gets loading so you can go and click this one so and include it to our application so from glide so okay so implementation so use video so we can use this one can grab this one for the dependency uh, we can copy it so okay so if you want to know more about light you can just uh, visit the page so as you can see here so and the ready okay so we have the uh, we have the example here so you can just uh, go and check uh, the link from the description so I will put the to this uh, dependency so into the gradle we need to put it and we need to sync the project so again so just need to wait so now okay so we we'll just wait until it will be loot so Can I follow? 
okay it is now in a synchronizing so okay so let us now go to the adapter so to the adapter we need to initialize the first we need to initialize the label it was uh, item view that find view by id so we need to find view by id and we need to click that okay so as you can see so we have item view find view by id okay actually we have many mistakes right? so we need to put it below the software uh, instructor so find you by id with r.id so find you by id with r.id okay r.id with david it's labeled so we could try to look at this one it should bring us to the first round entries where we are assigning the it's like label the next will be the source so we need to displace the source then we will that find the by id r.id dx source okay and the next video can be find the by id r dot id dot text here the next will be the calories so we need to initialize find the by id not focus uh, okay then r dot id dot uh, calories so text calories uh, next will be the weight plus I think that find you by ID we are just uh, the class by ID so we can just return it by getting the ID so now the last will be the image so we need to initialize the image that find you by ID so we need to just ID that image uh, okay so what is the id of our image so of the recipe image so we are going to the so now in the uh, on create uh, method we can just create a view 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 plus layout so now in platers include from but we need context so here we can create context attribute context and we also need to create an array list I'll just create an array list of type uh, we have the root object model so I will use the Root object model. We can call this recipe, yeah, and we can create a constructor. So we can initialize these two. So we need to create a constructor and select the two. So we are going to initialize it. In the later, we can pass the context and. So, let inflate. So we can choose what we are going to inflate will be the uh, XML. So we we'll choose this one. So we need to pass the XML. So the XML will be uh, from the R dot layout. 
that custom entries. Uh, the next we will pass the parent and we will not attach it. Instead of returning now, you can return the uh, uh, actually you can return immediately view, okay? Uh, but not the view, but the full view holder and then uh, pass the view. So once we've already done that in the bind view holder, we can set the text view and the image view here so we can use in our uh, bind view holder instructor so you can just use it folder that uh, let's go for the label that set uh, text so the text will be label uh, plus tab label and then the plus t give a uh, space then we need to concatenate the what we are going to do text label and then we are setting the text we need to pass the recipes so plus recipes that uh, get uh, by position then that get label actually recipes that get by then that get okay so recipes okay recipes that okay actually if we have our recipes then we should get the Okay, by position. So we are passing the root object model. Okay, so we did not define it. So in this, uh, so guys, uh, in this uh, class, we will pass the recipe model that we have created. So just like uh, if we are trying to look at our JSON file here. So as I've said before, uh, we have an object. So this only bracket indicate uh, an object. Inside of that object, we have a recipe, another object. So we have already created this object and we name it recipe model. Okay, but the thing is we need to pass it to the other class so it is basically this one so we need to include him in class so that is what we are going to do in the next video guys i'm sorry i need to cut you because uh we have uh passed the uh 13 minutes already of recording want to make this video a little bit long so thanks for watching guys i hope to see you in the next video please be sure to subscribe to my channel to support my content if you have some question write it in the comment box you want to request for the codes that I have written in this project so you can write it in the comment section so in that way I can update it to my blog so guys thanks for watching and please be sure to subscribe